Well, my name is Sheree Brooks, and I am the president and CEO, visionary co-founder of Power 52 Foundation. Power 52, of course, power means energy. The 52 is because of the co-founder, Ray Lewis. NFL Hall of Famer, Ray Lewis is the co-founder, my business partner and brother. When we first started, when Power 52 was first established, um, I was introduced to the sector and being from, um, you know, West Baltimore, knowing that people are in need of careers, jobs, um, why not take, you know, this sector that needs to be a little more diverse, or not even a little more, a lot more, you know, diverse, and marry it to, um, a community who are who was in need of some careers. Early on, I knew that economic empowerment was most important. And so with that, you know, I mean, I, I remember the days scrambling around saying, okay, I know I want to do something. I know it has to be in clean energy, but what is going to make the, the largest impact and the quickest impact? And I felt that educating community members um, and giving them the tools to enter the field would have the most and immediate impact, the heaviest impact. I'm the executive director and CEO of New Saw Community Learning Center. We are a 31-year-old nonprofit based here in Sandtown, Winchester. And we love our partnership with Power 52. Power 52 is a supporter of New Song. They have come out, spoken with our families. They connect with our families. They teach our families. They train our families. They recruit from our families as well. And then train our students as well and provide them with resources that they don't have. You know, and part of my whole being for being in this community was I wanted to bring resources here that didn't exist. And definitely solar, solar training opportunities to learn about energy and energy efficiency and savings weren't here. So that's another opportunity for us to really meld our passions together and bring uh, Power 52 together with us and, and share with the community. And the work that they're doing is great. Growing up in West Baltimore, starting off, you know, we, you know, we would go to my grandparents' house and you know the basements will flood you know but we thinking it's normal so everybody's basements flood it's just normal children growing up that have you know historically been marginalized and that have these problems because of in infrastructure issues you should not have a child thinking that because they have an inhaler that it's slicker cool and that it's okay that everybody's basement is flooding but it's the things that we normalize um, because it's the way we're growing up you know nobody's looking at the fact that no, you know, if we do some more green infrastructure projects, then perhaps we could remove some of these things that we just think is this normal. But you know, going into some of these, you know, communities, thinking back on some of the things that were just normal, um, and now understanding that it's not just normal. It's because we're living with stuff and we have normalized these. Um, inadequacy and inadequacies that have come to our neighborhood and so um and so these are the things that you know spark me and fuel me to do um, more of this work my name is robert dotry i'm a country boy from albany georgia i relocated here to baltimore maryland to start my life anew i came to miss brooks at power 52 with a broken heart Ms. Brooks is showing love to the people at Power 52 and in the community. The motto that she always speaks is for the community, by the community. If I came to Power 52 uneducated, unskilled, the biggest thing that they did for me though was mental health treatment. They have these power principles that they use to help individuals to um, strengthen their character. And it was this treatment that I needed most. My version of a clean energy future first would be um, statewide and nationwide. Let us just meet our clean energy goals. We want clean energy access for all. Um, just a diverse industry 
and definitely let's meet some of these goals.